Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. So as the title of the video suggests, I am moving. And before I can do that, I need to pack up everything in my sewing room. And oh my goodness, there is a lot to pack. Now, this move wasn't actually planned. Um, we'd hoped to stay here a couple years longer while we continue saving our down payment for our own house. But that is not the case. There's a lot of stuff happening this summer. It's, it's definitely a lot more eventful than I would have liked. But you know what? Sometimes change is good and this is going to be a fresh start with a new house and a new baby and a new sewing space. Now I am still technically working on my summer project. So not everything is going to be packed up until I've finished that. So you may see sneak peeks of it throughout this video. I'm going to try and keep it hidden, but the likelihood of you seeing sneak peeks is very high. So that's enough of an intro because I don't want this intro to be too long. And let's get to packing. All right, first things first, I'm going to start on the bookshelves because that'll just give me some more room in here. And then I'll go from there. All right, it is a new day. I finished clearing out my bookshelves last night and got them out of the room. And today I am gonna be working on clearing out all my heads up there. So I'm gonna get those into storage or at least boxed up and get them moved and then we'll go from there. always forget how cute some of the things I have are. Let me just turn this around. So like I have a lot of accessories and some of these tiaras I bought because they are just beautiful and they make me happy. So many things I've made. And of course my bell hat back there. My barrage, barrage, berger, 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 I think it's berger. <laughs> and of course my 1830s and one of the loops fell down somewhere. So yeah, time to get all these packed up and put away. This stuff just keeps coming out. Um, yeah, I think I really need to participate in the uh, no buy challenge until I use up 30 meters minimum. Okay, that 
will have to do. <laughs> oh, man. So, the lighting is probably horrible for this right now, but I figure since, you know what, I'm starting to pack up my work gown, we can have a little bit of a chat. So, one of the questions I get asked quite a lot of my... One of the questions I get asked quite a lot of my channel is, when am I going to be done my worth gown? I actually am pretty much finished the skirt for my worth gown. Well, I got mostly far with it when I was working on it, when I originally planned to release it in 2020. And then just with timing and everything, I figured it would be best to hold off on rushing through the project and instead take my time with it because this velvet was not cheap. <laughs> um, yeah, so, but anyways, the skirt is pretty much done. I essentially just need to hem it and put the waistband on it. I think that's from where I paused it last time. And then there's the day bodice and the evening bodice and the lace. So I have all my lace for this project in here. And I actually picked up I think I mentioned this in my first needle lace book when I was making this sampler here. Um, it was this book that I was using. So there's another lace book that I've been looking at that I really want to get, but it, I can't remember the name of it right now, but it actually has more pictures of the lace. Um, I'm just gonna put that back up there for now. I think it was called Lace from 16th Century to Modern. Um, it was, it's an old book and it has more pictures of the lace from the Worth gown, which I would just love to see. And actually, funny story, I ended up getting a hold of the Met Museum and they sent me more photos of the lace that, that are not on the website. Um, part of the agreement is that I'm not allowed to share those photos, but it gives me a better idea of what stitches were used because they are far more um, close up. So part of me is like kind of glad that I didn't finish it when I said I would finish it because now I'm able to find more things out about it that I wouldn't have known if I had finished it back in 2020. I cannot believe it's been two years since I announced that project. Oh my goodness. I don't think I'm gonna finish it for December of this year. At this point my project list is humongous and of course I will have a new baby. So I'm really really hoping I will get it done for 2023 though. So that is my my new goal. Yeah it's a three-year project but um, I'm, I'm not giving up on this. I am still gonna get it done. I am actually still working on the uh, needle lace portion of it. I did create a pattern for it. I think I'm going to be creating a new pattern for it um, just because I, I there's a couple things I want to change and now that I have the new photos from the Met Museum I will be able to recreate it better to the best of my ability. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> did cut out the lining pieces for this so hopefully that still fits. That is something I'm slightly worried about is I have changed sizes since um, I did all this so we'll see how that goes. I may have to piece a couple things together because um, yeah I, I did gain a little bit of weight um, with, with the pandemic. You know it I can piece it piecing is period so yes that's my update for those who are curious I am still working on it I am gonna finish it it's not gonna be a project that's just gonna disappear into oblivion because yeah I I will want to get it done preferably when there's still snow out or when there is snow because I think the red velvet with like a snow backdrop would be stunning. Hopefully this velvet isn't too badly crushed. <laughs> um, yeah, so 
that's my update for that. And it's cleared out. So let's uh, continue with cleaning up the sewing room. Just like that, sewing room is pretty much empty. Just have my sewing machine left in here, and then a little bit of a cleanup. It does feel slightly weird to say goodbye to this room that I've been in for almost three and a half years, but every chapter has to come to a close. everything is moved into my new sewing room but before I can get to work this needs to be organized well that's a little bit better I can actually walk around in here now let's just try that one more time all right everything is unpacked I'm going to be getting another bookshelf for right there, so these things, pretty much all right here, are going to go on that bookshelf. That still needs to go into some storage, and I still need to hang that up. Oh, and I need to um, finish putting all my stuff up on my pegboard. But other than that, the sewing room has really come together, and I'm excited to get back to work in here.